Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Got a max effort uh, squat slash deadlift session for you today. This is Damon, he's new with us. You can see he's trying to search for the right spot to pull out of, and you can actually see he's getting a little too low. Here he is with about 405. He squats down almost below parallel, and, and then it's real hard for him to pull off the floor. His hips raise up. When his hips raise up, the weights are actually easier for him to move. There's Tara Getty doing a picture-perfect box squat there. There's Carol Weston working on some raw deadlifts, coming off of a pretty bad injury, getting thrown off of a horse. Here's uh, Janet Lavelle She's going for a big squat with the Cambridge bar. She's got a little forward on her knees there. So that was difficult to come back up out of. There she is with the multi-purpose slingshot wrap. So here's Damon again. And you can see he's got pretty good posture, but he's just loose down there. He's uh, trying to search for he's trying to search for spots of tension. Here's Robot. Picture, picture perfect mechanics there. Knees out real far. Here's my fat little self going. Got the safety bar going on this day, uh, using some bands. Got a black band on there, and um, we throw throw some chain on there as well. I think. Here's David Butt Squish going. <laughs> David's all decked out in super training gear, trying to win points. So here goes Janet again, trying the same weight again. And this time she comes up with it. She has a little trouble sometimes, she gets a little forward on her knees, needs to sit back a little more, force the knees out more and really sit into that gear. Robot has done a good job of shutting off his thoracic outlet button. He's no longer overextending and arching and getting all weird and funky. He shut that off by uh, flexing his ass, keeping his hips a little bit more forward and keeping his head more neutral rather than aiming his head towards the sky. Here we are at the safety bar again, safety bar box squats. On this day I did about five sets of two, working up in chains each set until I feel like I'm gonna die and then work into some heavy singles. Butt squish going again. David's got good form, he's out there pretty wide. Every once in a while he'll uh, lose his back positioning and uh, turn it into a two-part lift. You always wanna try to turn it into a one-part lift or keep it a one-part lift by uh, staying tight, keeping your arch, and just keeping keeping your body mechanics the best you can keep them during a heavy weight, during a heavy lift. Here's uh, Tristan Eugene Show doing some reverse band pulls. He's getting ready for our meet uh, in November, early November, November 5th, I believe. A couple other people are getting ready for that same contest. In preparation for it, uh, Tristan's been working his benches down a little lower. He's been uh, working with some opening weights in the deadlift and in the squat, trying to see where he's at. Same with some of the other guys in the gym, they've been doing similar stuff. Robot pretty much has his numbers all planned out already because he's a fucking robot. Here's Kara working in her, uh, her squat suit, doing some sumo poles. Now we're starting to get some weights on there, got some chains on there. Safety bar is starting to pitch me forward, I'm slowing down a lot. Again, the lift is starting to become a two-part lift rather than a one-part lift. Here's Tristan, he always has pretty good form on his pulls. Could have probably got the back maybe a little flatter. I didn't say fatter, I said flatter. Here's Damon going again. Damon's uh, just really trying to work on that form. That's a little bit better. You see when he gets tension through the arms and the shoulders, that there's tension through the back. When there's tension through the arms, the shoulders, through the back, and he's able to push properly with his legs. I think on this set, I start yelling at him to do more reps across the room. And I'm trying to, uh, if, you have a, if someone's having trouble getting tight, the best thing you can have them do is do some repetitions with moderate to uh, slightly heavyish weights. If they're really new, then lightweights would be more ideal. But uh, Damon's not not real new, as you can see by his uh, guns there. He's been lifting weights for a while. He kind of knows what he's doing, but we're just trying to help him uh, perfect his form as he moves forward. His butt squish going again. 
This was the third week of the safety bar. We all pretty much felt like we were going to die. So David does us all a favor and dies for us. Again, here you'll see a nice example of what a two-part lift is going to kind of look like. It's starting to round over. Not too bad, but it's starting to get shitty right there. Look at that. That was full of shit right there. <laughs> I'm going to try to stay as upright as you can. The press at the end of the day with like a 725 pull or something. The reverse band, so we gave him a little bit of punishment. And you can see he's about, I don't know what that move was. Scratching himself or whatever. He's about ready to die doing some repetitions with uh, 585. So, something we've been working with at Super Training. We've been messing with uh, some repetition, repetition work after the max effort work. But uh, Hercules! Still working on the same uh, the same movement. So, for example, we use this, uh, so this is an example. Squatting with the safety bar, work up to a max single. Chop the weight down by about 20%, 30% perhaps. Or maybe just simplify it, take like a plate off, and then uh, rep it out as uh, Robot's do right here. I believe Robot has been dedicating his workouts to other famous robots in the past, such as uh, C3PO and Robbie the Robot and so forth. You gotta love how the orange. Those orange pants uh, accentuate the orange hair and orange goatee. Some may say that the uh, carpet matches the drapes. But here he is going through a grueling set, some repetitions. And you can see how it teaches you to get tight because it gets you all screwed up as if you were doing a max attempt. That's, that's the beauty of it. You do repetition work, it'll screw you up just like a max lift would. Just around 6.15 plus uh, bands and chains and bells and whistles. And um, I believe that's it from supertraining.tv. Thank you.